Hi, and welcome to Living in El Paso, Texas. My name is John Pena. I'm a real estate agent here uh, in El Paso, Texas. And today, we are talking tacos. And one of the best things about El Paso, one of the many awesome things about El Paso is that you uh, have a lot of Mexican food and Tex-Mex food options here. This place is called Leo's. I chose this one just because it's like super close to where I live. And uh, that's an awesome thing. Chances are, if you move to El Paso, you can have a pretty good uh, Mexican food restaurant near you. So I'm gonna give a little review of Leo's here. And then Miguel checked out three other places. And uh, we wanna kind of start featuring local businesses as much as possible to kind of do our fair share to, to help people uh, that have businesses here be successful, get a little bit of free marketing. And so, uh, with that, let's uh, let's dig into some tacos. Okay, so I just did a little bit of uh, internet researching, and uh, I was trying to figure out the origin uh, of tacos, and this is the best one I came up with. 18th century Mexico. Uh, in the silver mines, the word taco was used to uh, define this idea of what was called a plug. And a plug was essentially an explosive charge. It was essentially gunpowder wrapped in paper. And this is essentially what the miners would use to excavate in the mines. That was called a taco, that little explosive charge, that plug. So uh, I thought that was a pretty cool uh, idea. And uh, with that, you are watching uh, the infinitely educational uh, YouTube channel called Living in El Paso, Texas. This channel is all about El Paso, uh, eat, sleep, work, play. If this is the kind of information that you're interested in, or if you're interested in learning other kind of uh, very interesting tidbits of information taken from the internet, by all means, this is a place to be. So, um, but in all honesty, in all seriousness, this is a channel where we do showcase El Paso, Texas, which is really an amazing place, and uh, we've come to love it. Uh, my family, we moved here about two years ago, and. Um, it, it, it's, a, it's an amazing place. It's funny, I was just with uh, a, a gentleman today who's from Colorado who was looking at investing in homes here and, and he asked me, why did you move here? And my go-to response is weather, community, the people, and affordability. That's why we moved here. Um, the weather, moderate climate, the community, the people are awesome, and affordability, you know, we're still at $200,000 is your average home price, which is pretty phenomenal. So um, this channel does exist to, to kind of feature and showcase uh, El Paso. I like to joke with my friends that I'm the ambassador of El Paso. And of course, yes, I'm a real estate agent. And of course, yes, I would love to sell you a home here or uh, help you sell your home if you currently live here. But, uh, you know, in all reality, El Paso is an amazing community. You know, a lot of people are are fleeing California, uh, the Pacific Northwest. Folks are leaving New England areas and even the Midwest. And El Paso is a pretty, pretty fantastic option for a lot of folks because it's an amazing community. It's like I said, the, the people here are nice. I, I always say that and I think maybe some people roll their eyes, but when they get here, they're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe how nice everybody is. And I'm like, yes, uh, absolutely, yeah. It's a pretty great community. Weather-wise, it's, it's, a, it's a great community. Does it get hot in the summer? Absolutely, it gets hot in the summer. However, does it get 120 degrees kind of hot? No, it does not, you know? 106 every a couple of times a summer sure um, this summer has been crazy because we've had so much rain which has been a lot of fun but um, you know weather wise amazing you know we're in the winter here and it's 50 60 degrees and, and nice and the sun's out you know so uh, it's hard to be that and uh, I've lived in Wisconsin so trust me I know what it means to uh, experience a, a full-on winter so um, community weather, affordability. Uh, again, affordability, uh, I'm about to have uh, the uh, tacos special here at Leo's and it's gonna run me $11.79. Uh, now, don't judge me, but um, you know, uh, it is Friday. I think it's after five o'clock and I know it's after five o'clock. 
and um, you know this large margarita is probably gonna run me about five dollars so affordability wise you know um, pretty pretty good so uh, with all of that like I said uh, I'm about to get my food here so I'll give you my my honest review of the tacos I'm really excited uh, for you to see Miguel's um, debut of his 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 taco experience and reviews and uh, if there's anything that anybody needs by all means please reach out to us you can reach me uh, on the screen here is my email address john at peñaelpaso.com and if you uh, if you want to talk El Paso talk real estate please consider uh, giving us a shout thank you Okay, so Leo's Mexican food restaurant. Over on the west side, awesome place. Uh, been around for a long time. Spoke with the waitress. Yes, it is a, a local business. And we really want to shift our focus to, to helping local businesses thrive because, you know, we're all about community, right? Uh, it's, it's kind of this idea that we're all in this together. And so uh, we really want to start doing our part to really showcase lo local businesses. So without further ado, now I am very concerned about how I look when I eat food. So, um, you know, please don't judge me here. I'm gonna take a very, very dainty, delicate bite of this food and let you know my honest opinion. Okay, I hope I looked very good there. Um, I felt like I pulled that off very well. I feel like the chances of me having anything in my teeth are very small. Um, but I'm having the, uh, the carnitas tacos. Now, you probably don't know this, but I am actually not fluent in Spanish. Uh, believe it or not, I, I know with a lot of the uh, past episodes, you know, I've had to pronounce some Spanish words and pretty much I figure, I, I think I've pretty much nailed it. But uh, my father is Mexican. However, he did not speak Spanish to me when I was growing up. So unfortunately, I, I never really picked it up as a kid. And then my old brain just couldn't figure it out much, much after. But Carnitas, the uh, kind waitress was, uh, was kind enough to tell me, uh, actually means pork. So these tacos, amazing. And quite honestly, if you stick to local uh, restaurants around here, you're probably gonna have a very similar experience of um, you know, having a great meal experience and you're gonna capitalize on that affordability uh, element. And so Leo's, awesome, love it. It's been here for a long time. It's literally like five minutes away from me. So, um, you know, it's, it's hard to be great, uh, great food that's uh, right around the corner from you. So thank you everybody so much for for, uh, for watching the channel, for supporting local businesses. And without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and roll into Miguel's uh, top three taco choices. Thanks. So here we are at Los Primos Barbacoa. Now this is located at 5500 Donovan Drive in this little strip mall area, as you can see here. So now when you first walk into the restaurant, you see a Los Primos Barbacoa sign, as well as their refreshment cooler and um, some local business cards, as well as uh, local treats, I'm trying to support local businesses here. Um, now the general layout of this uh, reminds me of a taco shop in Mexico. Um, if you've ever been in uh, Juarez, you know, just over the border, you'll know that plenty of taco shops over there have uh, this same general layout. But enough about that. 
let's get on to the main event, which is the tacos. All right, so to start off, we got a order of carnitas, which here you can see are very crispy and very well done, and an order of barbacoa tacos, which is their specialty here. So something that we really liked about this place is that it gave you plenty of salsas as well as condiments like the lemon and onion and cilantro. Something my dad always used to say is, if you don't put salsa on a taco, it's not really a taco. Overall, this place captures the authentic Mexican taco flavor. So now we're at Tacos Chinampa. This place is located at 7500 North Mesa Street at the Promenade Strip Mall. So as you can see, the inside of this place has a little bit more dining capacity than the last, but it still captures that Mexican vibe. There's this very nice mural painted on their wall. But the important part here is the tacos, of course. We have an order of tripitas with the corn tortillas, as well as an order of tacos al pastor, which is this place's specialty. Here they gave you plenty of choices for sides to accompany your tacos, which I find very nice. And they also give you plenty of salsas and condiments like the cilantro and onion. Needless to say, the tacos were very delicious. Everything was cooked excellent. Could not have just one taco. As you can see, we had to try different tacos with different sauces. But overall, this place delivered a very authentic Mexican style taco as well. So last but not least, we're at Carnitas Querétaro, which is a Mexican restaurant. Now this place is located at 7410 Remcon Circle. As you can see, there's a rather large parking lot. It seems like a much bigger restaurant. And on the inside, you can see that this operates much like a bar and grill. Have plenty of interesting decorations and their menu is laid out fairly simply where you can see prices as well as descriptions of the items but the important part here is of course their specialty which is their Querétaro plate we had to order some horchata which is fresh of course any restaurant that gives you complimentary chips is a bonus as you can see here, we have the carnitas quesadillas and our carnitas here with the corn tortillas. This place also does a very good job of giving you plenty of side choices. Here we just got beans and rice and it gives you also plenty of condiments like the cilantro, onion, lemon and the salsas. So these are supposed to be carnitas quesadillas, but really they seem like carnitas tacos with queso.
gotta try out some different salsas, of course. Everything here was delicious, which is of course why we recommend it as a stop for you in your taco journey in El Paso. Okay, well man, this episode could not get any better um, because I've got a little bonus clip for you. Uh, I was noticing that there was what appeared to be a small container of honey on the table. Let me show you. Now my curious nature was instinctively asking, well, is, is that honey? And uh, if it's honey, why is it on the table? And uh, well, my answers were all revealed when the waitress asked me if I would like a sopapilla. And uh, I did not know what a sopapilla is. However, I have come to find out that it is a uh, Mexican dessert. Uh, it's essentially, um, um, I don't think it's, it's a dough, uh, it's a fried dough. Man, I already forgot what she said. Um, but anywho, it comes with, uh, you know, you can have it sprinkled with honey, it's sweet, and then the idea is to drizzle said honey over your sopapilla. So let me show you the sopapilla. Okay, so let me take just a tiny little nibble, very delicate bite of this sopapilla. Um, awesome, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm a sucker for simple carbohydrates. Um, once you get glucose into the picture, simple sugars, watch out. Uh, I'm gonna be all over that. So, as you can imagine, fried bread, cinnamon, sugar, and honey appeal to me as a uh, as a, a, a admirer of, of the simple carbohydrates. So. Um, there turns out to be uh, two actual uh, Spanish words for everybody this week. Carnitas, uh, pork essentially, and uh, sopapillas, uh, essentially uh, kind of a Mexican dessert uh, dough with honey uh, concoction. That is pretty awesome. So um, I hope that everybody's doing well and uh, I hope that you find my humor somewhat uh, somewhat bearable and uh, by all means I'm sure if you don't you'll let us know in the comments but um, honestly I hope that everybody out there is doing really really well and um, we're excited to, uh, to, to to continue to kind of showcase El Paso for the amazing community that, uh, that it really is uh, and with that we'll see you next time